I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Christopher Columbus. I'm going to take one finger over here, kind of in the center, and put a dot. Now let me tell you, he's got on a strange looking hat, so don't be surprised if this looks kind of weird. From the dot, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left. I come back to the dot, and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the right. Now, right here where I stop, I draw a straight diagonal up, curve line, straight diagonal down, and I leave it floating. Now I come back over here on the left, and I'm going to come up a little bit and draw a curve line out, curve line in, and leave it floating. And right here I'm just going to draw another curve line down and leave it floating. I come right about here and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line over, curve line down, keep going, curve line up, and back up to the dot. Okay? Now I can attach little straight line, curve line curve line up, connect. I come right here on the left and I'm just going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. I start back on the left again. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, little curve line, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Now, I come back to the left and I draw a big curve line out over to the, the um, edge of my paper. I come in and I add this curve line down to the edge of my paper. And I come all the way up to here and I draw a big curve line out, down, on this edge of my paper. Okay. Right here I add slightly curved line down to the edge of my paper. Okay. Now, come up here over on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy line out, in, out, and connect. Come up here at the top and we're going to draw a wavy line down, down, up, connect. And right here we're going to draw another curve line, curve line out, wavy line, wavy line up, connect. Okay. Come on the inside. Draw a curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Come back to the left, draw a curve line, but we're going to put the dot on this side. Draw another curve line. We're going to put the dot on this side. And let's do this now so we don't forget. Come on the center. He's got a straight diagonal curve line, keep going, little curve line up. Come down below, we're just going to draw skinny mini. So it's going to be curve line, curve line, and underneath, curve line connect. Okay, let me get those dots a little bit bigger. Alright, we're ready to color. Okay, we are going to double color, triple color, him a lot. But the first to show you as an example, I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color in this space. But then I'm going to take my pink and I'm going to blend over it with the brown as my base. And that's because he's a weathered sailor. He's not going to be all shiny pinks. Now, the next thing I do, if you have multicultural crayons, I'm going to color this is his face, and I'm using apricot, but I could even go a different couple colors even deeper. But I'm using apricot. This is his neck, so color that in too. If you don't have that, you can definitely lightly color brown. 
because like I said he's an adventurer and explorer so he's out in the sun a lot so he's gonna be a little bit weathered looking okay once you've done that get a brown and a red and the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna double color it looks like he's got reddish brown hair so we're gonna do this is hair this is hair and this is hair so I'm gonna give it all one layer of red but then I'm gonna take my brown and go over it I'm double coloring light to dark so I want that red to show so don't color so dark you can't see it anymore but it definitely gives a different look to him he did have kind of reddish brown hair okay once I've done that his actual outfit that he has on is different degrees of dark so I'm going to start off with my brown and I'm just going to color a light coat of brown this is that funny looking hat a light color and down here I'm going to do this a light color also then if you have gray I'm going to go over my hat with that first layer of brown he's got triple colors on some of this part and I'm going to come down and do this part of his outfit also then finally this is the third coat of color I come in very lightly not so dark that you lose your other colors but I'm going to loop de loop over the first two colors with black and down here also now as always I always say don't do it so dark you lose your other colors so you gotta be careful with black black can be dangerous okay now I come down and I'm going to start with blue on this section and blue on this section I'm going to give it a coat of blue because even though it's dark he does have gradations of color then I come in with my gray again and I go over my gray those of you that don't have gray don't worry skip this and go directly to the next step which is black lightly go over your blue your gray if you have it with black okay if you don't have gray just use the blue and the black okay this all could be even a little bit darker but I'm going to leave it alone because the last step is taking a little fat crayon and using the side of it and filling in the back space with purple when you see these paintings you can google Christopher Columbus and you'll see this painting they're dark oil paintings backgrounds they look like the face is emerging from a totally black background if you look at it closer you'll see though it's colored okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's Christopher Columbus all colored in ready for his first voyage for Queen Isabella okay bye bye